week's video, I want to talk about print on demand services, specifically Cafe Press. Uh, so first, let me tell you why I'm doing a video talking about Cafe Press. Last week, I think, I put up a photo on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, those things I'm on. You can check me out there. I follow back or not, whatever. Um, so I put a photo up on there and within about 24 hours, I had some people on Facebook and Instagram asking if the stickers were available for sale. And that was really strange to me because the sticker I had just printed to cover a logo on my laptop. It was my tagline for my website and my logo basically. And I didn't think anyone would have any interest in buying my tagline and my logo, but I have had people in the past say that's kind of cool. So I was like, okay, let me figure out how I can sell this because I'm not set up to be a store right now. And honestly, I have a full-time job, so I don't know if I have time to like deal with inventory and products and shipping and all of that stuff. But I really want, like, if there's just, uh, 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 some, you know, if people, people want this, let's make it happen. Let's make the magic. So I started researching on Friday and everything kind of kept coming back to Cafe Press. It seems to be one of the most popular print on demand services for physical, tan physical tangible products like cups, shirts, stickers, clocks, things of that nature. So I went with Cafe Press. And starting Saturday morning, all the way through Sunday, the binge working hyper focus me just kicked in and it was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be, but totally worth it. It was just like my butt hurts from being glued in the chair for so many consecutive hours this weekend. And probably not good for my posture either, but anyway, I got it done. And I wanted to share just a few tips that I came across um, or things I can share with you so maybe you won't spend so many hours like working on it if you decide to make a cafe press store yourself. And I guess the number one tip I wanted to share is those markups that they have, those automatic markups. Um, if you're not familiar with cafe press, they have like a base price that all the products will cost that they'll sell blank product for. And as an artist, you can put your art on these products and then you decide how much you mark up on top of their basic price. And there are like a different tiered markups. And I think the, I don't know what the percentage are. There's like a low markup, a medium markup and a high markup. And so I tried to go with the, the low markup and do a default like blanket thing for all my products. First tip for Cafe Press, don't just blanket anything and do all your products. Do each and every product that you're adding to your store one at a time and do your markups one at a time. Because when I did the blanket percentage markups, I went back in and looked at things and there were markups that were just ridiculous. And I was like, that's not fair. I don't want to charge people that much for this. And then there were markups that were 0%, which basically means I wasn't going to get any money and Cafe Press was just going to make a sale off of my artwork without me getting any like credit so I was like that's not cool so not cool cafe press maybe it's a glitch but or maybe I did something wrong when, but that's not good so my number one tip is don't bother because doing those automatic settings in cafe press because if you do you're gonna have to redo everything manually most likely which is what I did I had to like reset up the site like several times um but yeah, so I guess that's my number one tip. And then the other one is like your artwork, just really um, have a high quality, high resolution image that's not gonna pixelate and look ugly on the products. Uh, I don't know, I'm really still learning Cafe Press, so I don't have a lot of tips yet for it, but so far it's been a really good experience. I've already sell, made say a sale on my store. Like the first day it went up, I made a sale. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if anyone will actually buy anything else, um, but it's up there. It's um, cafe press slash dot com, or cafe press dot com slash neurodivergent rebel. But you can also go to my website, which is neurodivergent rebel dot com and click on store and it'll take you right there. I mean, if you're interested in checking out my cafe press store, it's literally just a bunch of stuff with my neuro rebel logo and tagline. But I set it up, I got it done. It's a lot of work. 
Um, but once you get it set up, I think you can just kind of leave it and forget about it. We'll see if I'm wrong. Um, but that was that was it. I, I, it's done. So anyway, guys, the store's up. Thank you for those who inspired me to figure out how to make this work. Um, I'm rambling a little bit. This video's getting long, so I'm gonna let you go. But guys, have a good one. Bye.